Where have you been, man? You went dark after skipping out on Janus and the bank. Chasing down Victor Marchenko. Found him holed up in the Swiss Alps with the mercs from Dubai. They tried to kill me with this. What is it? The Orchid. Marchenko used it to kill Rucker, so be careful. Think you can get it analyzed? Yeah, we got a couple of scientists on the Collective's mailing list. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there. Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into Og-only hellholes like Udalek. On Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London. But if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. How soon can you get the sample analyzed? As fast as possible. If you're meeting with Miller... Be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. We'll see. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Picus news, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of- Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. You doing okay, Delara? Thanks, Adam. No one ever thinks to ask me that. I used to work with Lim International before the incident. During the incident, actually. I have some bad memories from that day. Guess tonight kind of brought them up again. You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I 
fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps... Just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Like armor? Hmm, I like that. Guess I just got a little spooked, you know? I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. Radage. Terrors here. You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. But two ambushes in less than a month? I want to know what's really going on. So do I. MacReady dug into Garm. Started out as a geological research center, funded by the European Union, until 2025, when it was purchased by a nameless shell company. You put Chang on it? That kid scares me. Tracked it back to Bell Tower Associates in under an hour. I take it no one purchased it when Bell Tower went bankrupt last year wasn't even listed on the asset sheet. So like I said, you stumbled into something big. Care to focus on figuring out what it is? Right after you contacted me, I got on the horn with Leon. Had them send in a strike team from France. It got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Zardibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. Of this call. You owe me a favor. I'm collecting. Of course. 
You have been a very valuable associate, and I will be happy to reciprocate. But uh, not over the info link. Where? The casino? The casino is closed tonight because of this ridiculous curfew. You will find me in the Valley Theater on Zagivatlem Street. My men will be told to expect you. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Mr. Jensen. Welcome to my theater. Your theater? Are you the leader of the Diwali in Prague now? Yes, and I owe much of it to you. Radic Nikolaze had no honor, and many of the decisions he made were bad for business. I've wanted to replace him for a long time, but he had two people spying on me. One died in the bombing, and the other was Galwa. With him out of the way and with support from certain people in Georgia, all I needed was a powerful ally here in Prague, which you also arranged for me. Masa Kadlak. So what happened to Radic? Well, he met with an unfortunate accident. Occupational hazard. Now about that favor you owe me. With pleasure. Name it. Victor Marchenko. Radich was selling weapons to his terrorist group. Yes. Of all the shameful things in Radich's life, assisting those animals was the worst. The last thing he did for them was smuggle weapons and supplies into London. They're going to attack Santos Og thing at Apex Center. The Safe Harbor Convention, why would they do that? I do not waste time wondering about the motives of disgusting lunatics. You are planning to stop them. I wish you success. Miller, Marchenko is targeting the Safe Harbor Convention in London. Jesus, there'll be hundreds of people there. How fast can we move on this? I'll warn London and get Mac working on a mobilization plan for them. You go home. We'll contact you there. Alex, they are hitting London. The Diwali agreed to smuggle weapons and the Orchid into Apex Center. Fuck, man. They want to take out Brown. He's their real target. I've been digging into him. Get to my apartment. Explain it to me there.
got it wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced dogs will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped-up dream. The corporate city-state where like-minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one-world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Marchenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? That's some pretty sick shit, man. As far as we can tell, it targets a specific protein sequence in the body and deletes it. But without that sequence, the immune system goes into overdrive, attacking and rejecting critical organs within minutes. Rucker's death must have been horrible. It was. The way it hit him, it looked like his augmentations were being forced out of his body. Like he was experiencing a ramped-up form of rejection syndrome. The orchid's an og killer? How did you survive it? I suspect it's an everyone killer. But something in my DNA must be resistant to it. My body doesn't reject augments, Alex. I've never needed neuropazine. Maybe that's the key. No neuropazine dependency? Jesus, how's life at the top, man? You gotta be what, one in a billion? Still, don't go testing this theory out. You might not be so lucky next time. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed, and Picus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew's lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vidcall number? I looked into Facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists, either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orloff? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. Except for the Augs, which Orlov designed, and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. Are you suggesting all my Augs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you, all the Augs we ever installed had registry codes. They're not hard to trace. I know my Augs, Seraph. 
It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years, really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is, the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph. Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with McCready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? At the top, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just. Maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. 
I'll thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage, brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services, and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. pro og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, canceling this event will only embolden all of them. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talus Rucker, and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. The several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Alice Rucker couldn't stop it from passing, but I can. Where are you meeting then? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tavos security, while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slater. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. 